Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Sheena Sadiddy, and we're back again with another episode of Rose Thursday, okay? Okay, yes, y'all. All right, so today we are going to be making our strawberry cotton candy cocktail. Um, this cocktail is super cute, super fun, y'all. It's summertime, it's real hot outside, so I know y'all gonna be making this cocktail so we let's just make it real quick nothing too hard very simple we're gonna need some it's our strawberry cotton candy cocktail um so we're, we're of course we're gonna need some cotton candy um yeah so go ahead get you some cotton candy i just i picked this up at the dollar tree usually they have like the tins of cotton candy that just come with one color couldn't find that so i got the mixed color it's fine we're not gonna worry about it we're gonna need some rosé, so we're gonna head. We're gonna go ahead and bring back our Stella Rosa rosé that we had from last week. Make sure you check that video out if you have not seen it. Um, I think. Oh, we did our rosé gummy bear. Rosé gummy bear. So yeah. So we're gonna go ahead and go back in with our Stella Rosa rosé. We're going to need some vodka, some lime juice, and just some club soda to top it off. And we're also going to need some strawberries. Go ahead and get y'all uh, a lime um, to garnish this cocktail with. It's going to look absolutely beautiful garnished with a lime. So if you have the lime, go ahead and garnish with that. I don't have a lime, so I'm actually just going to garnish with a lemon. Let's see how it looks. If it doesn't look good, I'll just take it off. Um, but if you do have a lime, go ahead and pick up a lime for this cocktail. And all the ingredients, everything will be listed in the description box below, so don't worry about that. All right, y'all, so let's get started. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to mix um, the, uh, the cocktail itself. So we're gonna go ahead and go in with two ounces of rosé, so one, two ounces of rosé. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with equal parts vodka, so two ounces of vodka, one, two ounces of vodka. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go in with the ounce of lime juice. One ounce of lime juice. And I'm just gonna go ahead and just top with some club soda just for that like fizziness. And you also can use like champagne, like rose champagne. You guys know Sweet Bitch has a rose champagne. Poppy um, champagne has a rose champagne. Um, Bartonura has a rose champagne. Uh, Andre has the rose champagne. So yeah, so just go to your liquor store, ask them to help you find the rose champagne, rose prosecco, whatever it is. I'm sure you can find some. So I'm just gonna go in with an ounce, one of some club soda, just for some bubbly, just a little bit of bubbly, right? Just a little bit of bubbly. So I'm gonna just go ahead and shake. Hold on, y'all. Let me add. All right, y'all. So I added some ice to my shaker with all the ingredients I already had in because I actually want it to be cold. Because, you know, what's the point of a cocktail that's not cold? It's going to be bomb cold. So I just added a cube of ice to this. I'm just going to shake for a couple. Okay, so I'm just going to shake. I'm going to shake. I'm going to shake. I'm going to shake. Um, yeah, so that's that. So now let's prep our cotton candy and our strawberry. So let me find a nice little strawberry in here. So I think this one looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this strawberry and I'm going to just slice it. Not all the way through, but just slice it so it's kind of like feathered out, like in... So I kind of sliced it like this and I'm just gonna feather it out. I don't know if you guys can see that. But yeah, I'm just gonna feather it out like this. Super cute. I still have the um the leaves on the top. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a bowl of cotton candy and I'm going to create a hole in it so I can insert my strawberry. And I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna insert my strawberry and cover the strawberry with the cotton candy. Hope you guys can see this. You can always add more to just make sure that it's covered. So, so I'm gonna go ahead. So I just made a bowl of cotton candy. My strawberry is inside. 
So I'm gonna place this in my martini glass like so, like that. I'm gonna do a thumbnail. Right, so I'm just gonna place it inside my martini glass like so, like that. Um, and then let's go ahead and let me see if I want to garnish with a lemon, y'all forgive me. So I'm gonna garnish with a little lemon slice. So I told you guys if I had a lime, I would garnish with the lime. I didn't pick up any limes, I don't have any limes. Um, but this is this is giving me really this is giving me carnival. This is giving me fun time So and you know, I love a little lemon but a lime would have been really really cute as well And I did put lime in the drink. So it's fine. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm just going to strain it on top of the cotton candy y'all. Oh my god And oh my god Y'all and there you have it There y'all have it So, cheers, y'all. We got that strawberry in the middle, y'all. And what I want to say is, feel free to use whatever color cotton candy you have or you want to use. If you find pink cotton candy, I would highly suggest go ahead and using that. But if you have, like, blue, green, whatever, it's still going to give you a really cute thing. If you're having a party, you can have the mix, the cocktail pre-made, have the cotton candy with the strawberry on top of the glasses, and then just allow your guests to pour um, the cocktail over the cotton candy. If you have it like in a big pitcher, allow them to pour it over because that's going to be really cute as well. So here you guys have it. This is our strawberry cotton candy cocktail. So cheers, guys. Let's just go ahead and taste it. I'm so excited. And you guys can see, I hope you can see, but you can definitely see that strawberry in there on top. I'm spilling it, y'all. I'm spilling it. We got a whole lot of kind candy on the bottom. Oh my god! All right, cheers, y'all. Cause they saying they saying it's, it's they saying let's taste it. They said f all that. Let's just taste it. Cheers, y'all. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all. Y'all. This tastes like an icy done melting. And it got a lick in it. Y'all. Y'all, this tastes so good. This tastes like an icy done melted. And it has liquor in it. I just can't. is so good y'all how you suggest y'all having a baby shower y'all having a bridal shower get some strawberries get some cotton candy you get a big thing cotton candy probably from amazon if it's a baby shower pink or blue get the the, the cotton candy bowl stuff some strawberries in it have it on top of the glass have the the cocktail pre-made in a picture and allow your guests to just come and pour pour it over the pour it over their cotton candy or you wouldn't have a bartender pour it for them. This drink is so good, y'all. I kid you not. I'm not lying. Cheers, y'all. But that's it. That's a wrap. That drink is so good. I highly, highly, highly recommend y'all go ahead and try that. That drink was so bomb. Um... But that's it, y'all. That's it for today's episode of Rosé Thursday. And if y'all like my content, make sure y'all like, comment, share, and subscribe. It's your girl, Sheena Siddiddy. And I will see y'all next week with another episode of Rosé Thursday. Um, I love y'all, and I'll see y'all soon. Thank y'all for rocking with me. Bye.